one of the questions I'm often asked is, uh, can you give me some tips for my grandson, for my nephew, for my guy, my, my son who learned how to play bass without a teacher? He needs some guidance. Tip is a comfortable word of giving someone advice and recommendations on how to get a start understanding what it takes to do what we do, Christian McBride and Jacob and Storrs, who plays electric bass with the same kind of concept, uh, Kenny Davis, Richard Davis, all those guys, man, they play with this kind of understanding of what it takes to have them get past, oh my goodness, what do I do next? And, and uh, of what I tell everyone who asks me some tips for their fledging bass player friend, relative, cousin. It's a, it's, it's a, 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 one, two, three, a five word sentence with two words. Find a teacher, period. I think the days of kind of stumbling on your own and trying to become a genius with no lessons or no outside view of what you're trying to do to make the bass tell the story that you have in mind is some guy who's going to tell you, some teacher who's going to say, I'm not sure that's the best way to do that. Is another way you can find that? Or, or whatever they use to cajole their students to look past their first excitement of, man, that sounds pretty good. Can I do that again? How does that happen? What makes that? It's this outside voice, I think, that helps you monitor your progress, that helps you understand how playing honest and acknowledging that you missed some notes or you didn't play the right intonation or you haven't got an understanding of how to get physically comfortable with the instrument as we talk about during our lessons. All these things are part of a, part of a, a, a tip uh, of many, many pages of how uh, <laughs> I try to advise young people who come up to me after the concert on an admission and they want this uh, Ed Warden stir. Well, that's not how this works.